What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Wrapping up 2019, entering 2020, I wanted to give you my latest ideas on Tesla's new battery. This is something I spent almost half the year researching, I feel like, on the channel, um, making videos speculating about what is coming next on Tesla's battery cell technology. Um, this has been the focus of you know their electric vehicles, their batteries that stabilize the grid. Um, this is the backbone of accelerating the transition off of fossil fuels, is making better lithium ion batteries. Um, and I think Tesla, at their battery and powertrain investor day in early 2020, is on the cusp of announcing a potentially major breakthrough, uh, kind of an incremental breakthrough for Tesla, but a major milestone breakthrough uh, for the entire electric vehicle and lithium ion battery industry when they are poised to announce their 1 million mile battery cell. So this is something that Tesla has been hinting at for a while now. Originally at Autonomy Investor Day in April of 2019, um, Elon Musk, when talking about the potential of the robo taxi business, essentially autonomous uh, taxis or Ubers that would drive people around cities, said that those vehicles would need a 1 million mile battery, um, that the powertrain part of Tesla Tesla's skateboard is already can do a million miles, but that the battery is only good for about 300 um, to 500,000 miles. He actually added some clarity um, in a tweet reply to me saying that the Model 3 drive unit and body is designed like a commercial truck for a million mile life. Current battery modules should last 300 to 500k miles, 1500 cycles, replacing modules not packed will only cost 5 to 7k. But that's the current battery technology. Um, in the future, like this slide says at Autonomy Investor Day, um, Tesla is poised to announce this mythical one million mile battery. So fast forward since then, we've gotten a bunch of clues that Tesla is getting closer and closer to commercializing this next generation technology. The biggest of which is their partnership researcher, Jeff Don, um, based in Canada, has been putting out more and more papers um, about a million mile battery. And he even put out this paper in September. It was sort of a landmark work, got a ton of different press um, called a wide range of testing results on an excellent lithium ion cell chemistry to be used as a benchmark for new battery technologies. So Jeff Don has been contracted by Tesla to research new battery uh, developments and R&D projects for years, we conclude that the cells of this type should be able to power an electric vehicle for over 1.6 million kilometers or 1 million miles and last two decades in grid energy storage. And we also got a new patent that was filed on December 26th, actually just a couple days ago, um, in a Forbes article here that says, um, in an important new year development, Tesla Motors, in partnership with physicists from Canada's Dalhousie University, um, which is Jeff Don, filed the patent on December 26th for a new lithium ion battery technology. The patented design claims to significantly outperform the existing lithium ion batteries widely used in electric vehicles and other energy storage applications today. The new and improved tech is likely connected to an April 2019 announcement by Tesla CEO. Elon Musk, who promised a 1 million mile battery pack for Tesla's vehicles in 2020 and beyond. So my prediction in short is that Tesla at their battery and powertrain investor day in a few months will announce we have a million mile battery. We either just started building it or are planning to build it. And building it is the new, the next phase of this entire battery announcement and equation for Tesla. It's not about just coming up with the new technology, but it's about how do we build a massive amount of that technology at a very cheap price to make it mass market. That's one of the biggest innovations that Tesla has done over time is reduce the pack of the battery pack from the Roadster, where it was like 100,000 a pack, now down to these battery modules, which Elon Musk claimed can only cost five to 7,000 to replace. So key innovations in manufacturing and cell technology um, that Tesla's made have led to these improvements, but we're getting ready to go even one step further. Elon Musk has said that Tesla wants to expand its battery capacity, which is today at about 35 gigawatt hours, to over a terawatt hour of battery capacity. Whether that's partners or building cells in-house is another layer of the equation, because we know Tesla wants to expand production like crazy. Thus far, they've been partnered with Panasonic to buy uh, battery cells and then turn them into battery packs for vehicles. But because Tesla always verti vertically integrates and they bought a company called Maxwell Technologies earlier this year, which I'm sure a bunch of you are familiar with, um, which was developing a way to build its own batteries. And then a couple months later, Tesla bought a company called High Bar System, a Canadian-based company that builds lithium ion battery cells. Additionally, right after that, we saw a bunch of uh, job postings about uh, battery cell engineering and battery cell manufacturing at Tesla. My personal opinion is that Tesla is going to start building their own battery cells, basically um, taking some of this, this next phase of battery development in-house, and they're going to be ramping up production of this new battery cell starting in 2020. That's what they're poised to announce. Um, I think it's going to leverage the dry battery electro technology that Maxwell, Maxwell has been developing. Um, it's going to leverage this new research by Jeff Don, and this is really going to be a game-changing technology for electric vehicle adoption. Why? So electric vehicles, when compared to gas vehicles, have a usually higher sticker price 
price, but that's coming down as Tesla introduces and other automakers cheaper electric vehicles. But a huge thing that people don't realize is you're saving a ton of money by owning an electric vehicle over time. The consumer experience, some would argue is easier because you just charge it up at home. You don't have to go to a gas station. But the other part of that uh, battery equation is there's way less moving parts. It's a way less simpler design. That means things break way less often. There's way less things to fix, aka way less servants and maintenance appointments and costs. And not to mention the fact that every time you plug in your Tesla, you're saving money because it's cheaper to plug in and charge at home than it is to buy gas. Although how much cheaper depends on where you live and the electricity rates. But generally, it can be about you know th- uh, only 30 to 50% of the cost to charge it up. So my point is, over the long term, the total cost of ownership of an electric vehicle is far better than it seems because of this less service and maintenance. And now with new data coming out of companies like Tesloop, whose CEO and founder I had on this channel, we're, we're seeing that electric vehicles, the Teslas specifically, can last hundreds of thousands of miles. The typical uh, vehicle life is about 150,000 miles um, for an internal combustion engine. These Some of these Tesla that Tesloop is offering as taxis have gone hundreds of thousands of miles, talking 300,000 miles plus. And their batteries are still, you know, showing 70 to 80 percent um, of full capacity. So there is some battery degradation there. And that, but that, remember, that's Tesla's, you know, Model X technology, which is the 18650 cells. They're already at the 2170 cells for the Model 3. And initial data from Bloomberg is showing the battery uh, like retention over time. The amount of capacity they lose is way better than those 18650 cells. So Tesla keeps improving. But the game changer is when you can't just go 300,000 miles and replace the pack, but you can go a million miles. Um, this t- drastically changes the economics of operating that vehicle because one of the largest costs to price in is the replacement of that battery pack. So if you only have to do that you know, a third or half the time because the pack lasts a million miles, you're looking at a way cheaper to operate robo taxi. And Tesla not only is leading in battery technology, but there's a simultaneous massive advance in self-driving technology. Tesla, with almost a million vehicles on the road, has been training their neural net to uh, running it through their uh, self-driving computer to be able to get them ca- their cars to drive themselves. So when they are able to launch what they are calling the Tesla network, essentially um, Uber or Lyft, but with no driver in it, you can just request a Tesla. One of the biggest costs of operating that vehicle is going to be service and maintenance and the battery. And so Tesla wants to be leading in that cost curve. Just to show an example, a slide from Tesla's autonomy day, Elon Musk shows that a single robo taxi could only cost 18 cents per mile um, and make 65 cents gross profit per mile, charging about a dollar a mile, um, doing 90,000 miles a year, making 30,000 in gross profit per year um, over 11 years. So you could potentially be making $300,000 in profit from a single Tesla Model 3. Think about how this changes the entire economics of what a car is and how much money it could make you. Right now, you can buy a Model 3 for forty, you know, $45,000 and have this vehicle. Tesla maybe makes eight or seven or $8,000 in profit selling you that. Um, well, in the future, if you're your Model 3 can operate as a robo-taxi, generate $300,000 of income over its lifetime, you know, even if you account for all expenses and everything, we're still looking about maybe $100,000 of value from this product that used to only get forty dollars or $45,000. That's a doubling. It still costs Tesla about the same amount to build that thing, you know, that $35,000 cost, but now instead of getting forty-five dollars for it, they're getting hundred dollars for it. This all boils down to is Tesla's current gross margin is about 20-25%. Um, this could get flipped on its head, go to 50% plus if they're operating a robo-taxi taxi network. So this business is extremely lucrative for Tesla, would mean that you can get a ride for a fraction of the price um, than an Uber or Lyft. And a lot of it boils down to the battery technology, a battery that's reliable, that doesn't degrade over time, that can last for a million miles. And that's exactly what Tesla is going to announce at this upcoming investor day. Um, The other thing that's sort of a left field bonus uh, equation out of all of this is, is this going to be a solid state battery? Is it going to be a cylindrical cell, um, kind of like what Tesla used today, or this new solid state thing that people are talking about. Maybe it's a pouch solid state battery. I don't know. I'm a little bit out of my depth here, but I've made a ton of episodes speculating about some new type of cell Tesla could develop. There's rumors that they're John Goodenough, the inventor of the lithium ion battery, has a new glass Um, sort of solid state next generation lithium ion cell. Maybe Tesla's working with that and that could be part of their new battery. I don't know. I'm sure there's a million things going on at Tesla's battery skunk works in Palo Alto, but I think the one that is ready to be commercialized is this million mile battery that lasts longer than anything else. And the biggest, you know, details and explanation of that are not only, okay, we've developed this technology, but how are we going to build an absurd amount of this new battery cell and scale it quickly for a cost that means we can hit mainstream adoption because that's what Tesla's about. that's what the goal of the company is to transition up off, off of fossil fuels. And a biggest driver of that of economic equation is battery costs and performance. And that um, is why it's so exciting. That's why the million mile battery is a, such a game changer. And I think it'll be in all of the headlines in a few months. And that is my conclusion from all my 2019 battery research. So I kind of wanted to share with you guys, but 
as you can tell from my ramblings, probably it's still not a fully fleshed out theory. Of course, I'm still going to be making videos about this, but I want to open it up to you guys per usual. What do you think's coming? Um, what do you think about the million mile battery? What kind of implications does this have? I didn't even talk about what this means for the grid storage business, um, which is just getting off the ground as well. But anyway, leave below. This is Hyper Change. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. See you guys next time. Peace.